Okay, they're trying to figure out what happened to missing billions of years. Well, guess what? I know what happened to it. They say it vanished from the geological record. Why? And now they're trying to figure out, they realize that the timeline is completely wrong, but they have no idea about the layering of these different things. And I'm going to show you what the layering is all about right now. Okay, we're going to get into the Triassic era in a second and all of the different fleshed and creatures that are all litter the ground. And the reason is there was a giant flood. And we're going to go over that in a second. But this is the footprint that pushed down through the red bed and during the Triassic. So it didn't happen over millions of years. I say it happened like in a day or so. And I'll show you why. Okay, so what happened at the at the... Triassic period. They find all this kind of stuff and they say this is just sedimentation. It is not. That is muscle fibers from gigantic, gigantic, gigantic creatures. Just the way it works. And they're all over the earth, so it's not just here. And everybody says it, it's all every, under everybody's feet. Now, and it is. And the reason that it, it is there was these three layers, the red bed, is muscle and blood and so forth is a very liquidy sort of stuff and it runs off quickly and easily and that formed the base and then on top of that was the gray clay which is a little more structural and that sort of settled on top of the red bed now still don't forget this is under the ocean at this point the the, the, the earth was covered with water for a very very long time and so this stuff settled out just like it does in a pond right now and then eventually because it was also, you have to look up Velikovsky, and he said the oceans literally boiled during this event when Venus passed so close to Earth that it caused a flood and it also caused enormous amounts of burning and fire and and I believe the black cap is a product of the fiery parts and the oils and everything just settling on top because eventually it dried out and that's when everything settled down together. But as you saw, the footprint was stuck through the, the red bed. So at the point when everything started to dry out, this guy was running across and he's boosh, 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 and, and happened to find one of these. So I say the Triassic didn't form in um, whatever millions of years. And the dinosaurs were after the Triassic. It, they call it the rise of the dinosaurs. Well. It was the rise of the little tiny creatures. Dinosaurs were tiny, tiny, tiny. They were like insects to a lot of the gigantic creatures. They wouldn't even know they were there. A T-Rex, they wouldn't even have known it was there. I'm, I'm serious. Okay, this is Roger once again. I have to do this kind of quick because it's going to dry up. This is the red bed. This is the gray clay. And this is the black cap. Red bed, gray clay, black cap. That is the Triassic signature worldwide, and I say it's from the Great Flood. And guess what? This footprint here, all right, this is a human, as far as I can tell, it's a human ish footprint. Now, here's the key here's the red bed. The red bed was pushed down, I mean, the, the gray clay was pushed down through the red bed. This is the red bed, and here's the gray clay now which is underneath the red bed. This was pushed down through when this red bed was wet and gooey. So everything happened at the same time. And even the black cap, which was on top of this, this is the black cap, that's the footprint upside down, and it was found on top of this, all three layers together, which to me says that the Triassic period happened all in the same day. <laughs> basically if this was and this is the color these are the right colors and this is the red bed was flat across the top there was gray clay on top of that and the guy stepped on the gray clay pushed it down through the red bed and here is the gray clay underneath now the red bed see the red bed is up here let me see that hold on let me get some more light over here you see the red bed now is up here. The gray clay is below it. 
It shouldn't be below it. Now they start talking about fissile. It's all. It's it's just mud. It's a it's a muddy layer. Now this guy's foot stepped in here when this was was wet, and I mean wet. You see these little tiny little little spots here. I call those suck ups. When his foot hit here, it came up. On the edges, you don't have the suck ups on the edges of his feet because that would be where. You know, here's where you're going to have the suck up. He hit it and it was like stuck. When it came up, it left these little, little dimples looking things. And my foot fits in here pretty good. <laughs> so this must have had toes. It looks like, because a lot of them had, were no toes that I found. But anyway, this is, to me, this is pretty demonstrative that all of this event happened at a pretty darn, darn close time and there was a human being stepped in the middle of it and here's what it says right over here this is what they call shale these three layers it is the most common sedimentary rock and is found in sedimentary basins worldwide because this was the great flood this was when everything flooded at the same time. All three three layers came out and then on top of that all of the creatures that were dead were giant creatures and some of them were our size, some of them were goose. That's a goose or some kind of duck or whatever it is. It's feathers and it's laid flat like this after it drowned and that's why the side is flat. And everything I have is like that. This was DNA, DNA tested human and it's the same thing, flat as a pancake on one side. That's because they all died in the flood and they separated along the fascia, plains, a lot of it. So, and, and then there's all, I got so much stuff about this, it's just insane. Um, but I'm trying to bring out all of these, these, you know, dynamic occurrences that pretty much show we need to take a look at things, at least. But anyway, that's the black cap that came on top of everything else. And that's... That's what it says about it, and that is the Triassic signature, three layers, Triassic, and they say it lasted millions of years, I say it lasted hours. <laughs>